we're going to use what we know about norms and dot products to derive an interesting result related to the sides and diagonals of a parallelogram. We call it the parallelogram law. So let's work on kind of deriving this interesting result. So let me draw just a little picture of what we're going to work with here. Let me take a vector u, so there's the vector u, and the vector v, so that's the vector v. If I put v at the end of u, that vector right there, by definition, is u plus v. Remember, one way of doing vector addition is just take the tail of one vector, put it at the head of the other vector, and where you land is, by definition, the sum of those two vectors. So that blue line down the middle there, by definition, is u plus v, because that's exactly what I've done. I've taken v, I've placed the tail of v at the head of u, and where I land, by definition, is u plus v. If this is v, this vector right here is negative v. I've placed it again at the head of u. I've placed the tail of negative v at the head of u. So where I land over here must be u minus v. So this purple vector is u minus v. I can also draw u minus v right here. And you can kind of see what I'm building up here. In the green lines, I'm kind of building up this parallelogram. And then the crisscross lines are really the diagonals of the parallelogram. So the green box, which is defined really by u's and v's, are the sides of the parallelogram. And then the blue diagonal, u plus v, and the purple diagonal, u minus v, are the diagonals of the parallelogram. And the parallelogram law really is just a relationship of how do the sides, u and v, and their lengths relate to the diagonals, u plus v and u minus v, their lengths. So let's go ahead and come up with an expression for the diagonal length, u plus v. So we're going to compute the norm squared. We've already done this before, but let's go ahead and kind of work it out in detail. The norm squared of something is a vector dotted with itself. In this case, the norm squared of the sum u plus v is just u plus v dotted with itself. So this turns out to be, if I use my distributive rule, u dotted with u plus v plus v dotted with u plus v, and then distribution rule one more time. That's u dot u plus u dot v plus, over here, v dot u plus v dot v. And then we can see what I have going on here. u dot u is u norm squared. I have two u dot v's, and then the v dot v is norm v squared. So there's an equation we've derived previously. I'm going to call that equation one. And then we'll do the exact same thing to figure out what the norm squared of u minus v is. By definition, that's u minus v dotted with u minus v. Then I'll use the distributive rule twice. I'm going to take u dot with u minus v, and then I'm going to take minus v dotted with this. That's my first distribution. And then do it one more time. Distribute here and distribute here. So u dot u minus u dot v, and then minus v dot u plus v dot v. And this again is the norm square to u. I have two of these identical terms here, minus two u dot v, and then v dot v is the norm squared of v. So I'm gonna call that equation two. So look what happens if I add up equation one plus two. On the left side, I'm gonna have the norm squared of u plus v plus the norm squared of u minus v, right? That's what I have on the left side. And then on the right side, I'm gonna take this plus this. An interesting thing happens. I have two norm squared of u, right? There's one here and one here. I also have two norm squared of v, and look what happens to the middle term. Those completely cancel out. So all I'm left with is two u norm squared, two v norm squared. So this equation here is what we call the parallelogram law. It relates kind of how large the diagonal terms are over here on the left to how large the sides of the parallelogram are, u and v, over on the right. So kind of a nice relationship between sums of vectors and their sizes versus just the individual components over here. And graphically, really what we're doing is talking about the sides and diagonals of a parallelogram.